to my channel and I'm very excited today because I'm finally doing a styling video here. So you know right, festive season is coming and it's my favourite, favourite season of the whole year. I love Christmas and I love dressing up for Christmas because it's when I can dress up, put on everything and I don't need to be afraid of people judging me. So today I will put together five different outfits that I will realistically wear for this Christmas season in Singapore because you know Singapore is very hot and humid and I don't want to layer on many different layers to look like a bazang because it's going to be very warm. Instead, I've incorporated different accessories that are timeless and glam which you can keep in your wardrobe for the rest of your life and you can take it out at any time to glam up even like your simplest outfit. So let's start. What's Christmas season without the element of fur? I would wear this outfit to a Christmas dinner at a Porsche event or to a Christmas cocktail event. I've also layered a racer tank top to my little black dress as I don't want it to be too revealing. Instead of carrying a feminine bag, I've picked this fur clutch that gives a pop of colour. To further elevate the outfit, I also picked a pair of socks to wear over the cute house stool palms that are super comfortable to walk in. For the finishing touch, I wore my new gold necklace and I'm ready to rock at the corner of the party, hoping to make no eye contact with anyone. Not a fan of knit dresses generally, but this together knit dress caught my eye because of its flattering cut. With the flat hem, faded waist and cuff details, it gives a visual effect of an hourglass body shape. So if you have a rectangle body or a pear shaped body type like me, you can consider trying out a skater dress and to add a belt or a chain like I did to further cinch in your waist area. Since it's Christmas season, I dug out all my festive accessories and paired my bling bling bag and beret with my otherwise cosy, simple looking dress. Also, I wore my ride or die Celine boots because it never fails to add on a touch of edginess to any outfits that I have. To be honest, I'm always impressed by how confident the Gen Z's are and it makes me happy whenever I see them dressing up for any occasions. This is what I would wear if I'm a Gen Z. Because I'm not the sexy type, so I chose to wear something that I'm comfortable in and possibly something that I will still wear now in my 30s. I've also added a gold chain belt and paired it with a bag with gold accents so that the colours of the hardware doesn't clash. And of course, I have to tie two plates with my furry bucket hat that is also reversible and also because I need to look young, right? Anyway, no matter how old you are, a double braid look will instantly make you look chic. One thing to take note when it comes to colour matching is that you want your colours to look well put together. In this scenario, I'm using analogous colours. There is the orange, yellow and brown. It's all in a warm shades which is also perfect for Christmas season. This is my favourite outfit of all because it feels very age appropriate to me and it's also something that I will wear to a Christmas carnival date. Because it's hot and humid in Singapore, you wouldn't want to perspire and look disastrous. To start up the look, I've also added chunky gold earrings to make it look cool together with this really cute furry kitten muse heels to add some colours. Another plus point of the chunky heels is that it visually balances out the structured look so that I don't look overly heavy on top. Overall, I just love the outfit as it makes me feel good and confident. Time to invest in more timeless pieces like this. Ooh <laughs> Thank you for staying until my last outfit and I hope that you have been enjoying this episode so far. If you like it, please remember to subscribe and comment on what styles you want to watch next so I can do more videos like this. Styling can be really fun especially when you think of different ways to match your bags or clothes. The main highlight of this look is how I played around with different ways of carrying my Chanel clutch on chain. I've used my earrings to make it look like a belt bag which you can also try it out for yourself by using ring claps. I wore these silver pants to a rave party recently and girl, it's gotten so many compliments. Remember I was saying that all these outfits are looks that I will actually wear. This outfit is something that I will party all night in without worrying that I might get dead drunk and have to be carried home by my boyfriend. In all seriousness, I like how this leather crop jacket just gives off the hip vibes that I assume my mom would wear back in the days when she's younger. Lastly, because my pants are too long and I didn't have time to get it altered, so I wore this platform boots that is from another stories. Now you know the trick on how to avoid stepping on your long pants if you are lazy to get your pants altered. 
That's all for this episode and I hope that you have managed to learn something today. Remember to comment below and tell me what is your favourite styling tips or what are the other styling tips that you would like me to do in the next video. So see you again in the next two weeks. Remember to subscribe and bye-bye.